Okay, I'm going to try out a PHP script I found over at gscripts.net. A bunch of free scripts here, and this one in particular is PHP Calendar Script. It's rated as popular, and I kind of like the result of having a tiny little calendar that you could stick on a home page or something like that. So I've gone ahead and do done uh, the initial. I've downloaded uh, the script. It was a zipped up folder, and within that I can see there's several subfolders and a few other things in here. Text file, SQL statement, and so forth. Of course, there are some directions. I love printing out the directions and having those handy. I'm going to go and open them up with WordPad. So here are my directions. And the directions aren't very detailed, unfortunately. I like more detailed directions. But they are in a very standard process for any free PHP MySQL script you might get. In this one, it's having me go to PHP MyAdmin and create a new database. Now, I just did that right before starting this recording. So uh, I've created a database, and here's my PHP my admin. My database is called Little Calendar, and there are zero tables in it. According to the directions, I need to import the calendar SQL file in my new database, and I'm pretty certain this SQL statement is going to create some tables for me with the necessary fields and so forth. So I can see back on their original. Uh, there's their SQL. Let me go ahead and open that up with WordPad. Alright, so this is what they're providing for their SQL. And sure enough, it's creating a table called admins. It's creating a table called events. The admins table is going to have several fields ID, username, password, and email, all a variable character, a var variable character integer for the ID, um, auto increment, and so forth. It's going to insert some data into that one. It's going to create a table with quite a few fields. And it's also going to insert some data into that one. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and select this entire SQL statement. I'll just do a Control A to select all, and then Control C to copy. And over here in my PHP my admin, I'll head over to the SQL area. And I'll paste my SQL statement in. All right, and hit go. Keep your fingers crossed. All right, so let's see what it says here. Your SQL query has been executed successfully. That's good to know. And I see there's the uh, admins table and the events table it created for me. So that's kind of nice. So I've I've gotten that part done. Okay, so I see the next thing in the directions is to open the CP config file and then set your MySQL connection information. All right, so let me jump over to. Um, here and there's my CP folder. There's config. I'm going to open this up with a notepad. And let's see, there's MySQL Connect right there. I'm going to go ahead and plug in some information. Let's see, my database is called, or the database host is little calendar uh, webdevcom Username is a LC user. Password. LC pass and the database in question is little calendar. I'll go ahead and save that. And next on the directions is to upload all files to your FTP change mode 77 to the event images folder. Okay, so I'm logged into my um, using FileZilla. I'm logged into my domain here. And I've created a little subfolder called LC and let me go ahead and uh, confirm file attributes for this one are 7, 755. So read, write, and execute for the owner, uh, read and execute for the group and the public. And within that folder I'm going to take all of the files they've provided. Of course I've made some changes to config.php. In fact here we go. These are all the files I need really. So let me take all of these and um, drag these over to my LC folder. And there's my LC folder and it's currently empty. So I'll take all of these and drag them in. And those are uploading. And while they're uploading, let me look over the directions. Upload all files folders to your FTP. That's taking place as we speak. And it says give me a change mode 777 to the event images folder. Basically that's full read, write, and execute permission for everybody to the event images folder. And then they say that's it. Once I've done that, then I can simply go to my CP section. So and that's where the admin interface will pop in. And the default user is admin, default password is admin. All right, so things are still uploading. 
There's my event images folder. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that, file attributes, and let's give that 777 permissions. There we go for every for everything in that folder. Okay, now that's taken care of. It says that's it. So let me all right, so let me open up a new tab and go to my domain. Ralph.ccc dash webdev dot com slash LC, which is a little calendar. And they said go to the CP section, so I'll go in there, see if anything happens. Oh, there we go, there's my admin. Uh, username. Admin, password is admin. Login. Uh, success. Please continue or exit. Continue. And now I have an interface. And I haven't used this before, so I'm just uh, not a lot of options. So I see there's a calendar manager. I'll click on that. And let's see, calendar managers. And I'm not seeing all of my options. Ah, yeah, it looks a little like a little design flux here, but I can see there's an add new link just hidden away over here. And of course, I can edit and stuff like that. So let me add a new calendar. I'm using in Firefox. I'm curious if this looks a little different in IE. Manager username, I'll go ahead and call it uh, Ralph. Password, Ralph. And I'll put in an email address. Add. Okay, I now have two calendars. Let me go to an event manager. There's an add new event. Event title, and I'll go ahead and put in um, Ralph's birthday. Event details, day of fun, location, everywhere. Full date, and this will be May. Oh, that's a date there, day of the week. So. Uh, that's kind of annoying how these are out of order. I think that will uh, 10, 11. All right, we might have to fix that, but since it's a simple drop down, I bet we could find the web page where this is at, and it's a it's going to be a select menu, and there'll be a series of options, and we can make sure that's up to date. So I'll have to make my birthday on the 22nd since I don't see a 21st on here, and that's in May. 2008 sounds good to me, and um, yeah, I'll try putting a picture in. Let's see what happens with this. So let me go to my my documents. There's my pictures. I already got thumbnails being viewed. Let's see if we can just find a small graphic. Hey, there's a me in Simpsons mode. And add. Okay, Ralph's birthday. Sounds good. All right, now I'm gonna go home. Actually I'll log out. Do that instead. So I'm back at the admin, but let me see if I can find the actual calendar under my LC root folder. Oh, there's a calendar, and I see uh, today, that's March, okay, so let me see if I can advance. There's April, there's May, 22nd is highlighted, there's one record. Um, if I click on this, gives me a little pop-up. Ralph's birthday, and there's the date at everywhere, picture fun, description, that's kind of neat. So um, there we go, so there's a basic calendar, it really didn't take a lot of effort to get set up. Clearly there might be some things you'd want to go into and, and tweak a bit. And don't forget, if it's displaying on a web page, you can probably you can probably mess with it. So what you might consider for something like on the index PHP, or you could even go into the CP folder, where they have, um, maybe there's even more in this uh, config.php. So let me go and open that back up in Notepad. So whenever you see straightforward HTML, that's the potential for you to change some things. Okay. Now I don't see the form where actually it was given the drop down for the days, but we could hunt around and you could find that kind of stuff and change it as necessary. Otherwise, you got yourself a little calendar script.